today we're in Sea Drift, Texas. We're far, far, far from the city, and this is the project that was handled remotely. So let me take you back to the beginning. Right now, we have the guys working on the rack. Rack is gonna be completed. Uh, I'm gonna show you the full walkthrough of how this project got to here, how it's gonna get to the zip code where it's being installed, uh, how it's gonna get to the finish line, and you get to see the entire thing. This is the actual pre-wiring diagram for this project. This project is not wired. It's a post-construction project. This is where we received the project. We discussed the vision, the budget. Uh, we discussed the whole thing. From there, it went into the design stage. Dion um, proposed it, sent it out. Uh, once we got acceptance on the pre-wire and we got acceptance on the design and everything, we went back to the drawing board. So our new design department uh, put the rack, the layout, everything together for the guys. Um, and that's currently what they're doing, so. All right, so the rack that's being put together over there started in here. Dion, our GM, Trying to show the viewers how this project comes to life. All right. How our proposals come so to life. So our process normally is Johan goes out, does the consultation, gets all the information, takes pictures. But it's a remote project, so that's not really doable, right? So we got to get all this information via pictures and um, product, pictures of products. So what we will do is we'll create a floor plan. From the floor plan, we'll figure out where TV locations are going to be and system design from the floor plan so uh, when we get that floor plan completed we'll know like exactly how many speakers how many tvs how many access points everything that needs to be proposed and put it on a proposal once it's on a proposal we'll figure out the rack design how large the rack needs to be based on how much equipment we proposed and we'll pre pre present a rack uh, diagram once the rack diagram is built out, now we can create a flow chart to figure out how all the equipment in the rack is gonna to connect to each other. So that way the floor plan that we have works. So all of these things have to be done in order to do a remote job properly because we don't have much room for any error. It has to be very precise. So everything has to be accounted for down to the smallest wire. All right, now this is my first time actually being here. This, everything was handled remotely. The consultation, the proposal, the walkthrough, the virtual installation, the programming. So let's go inside and let's see how it turned out. Welcome to Bubba's Seafood. All right, now you got to see the entire process of this restaurant. I'm gonna give you a small tour as Chris spins the camera and I take you around the room. As you can see, we have five different TVs in this building. They're all control separate through control four. Each of them has their own source. Another thing that you'll notice is that this team, this restaurant has an entire 70 volt system that is separated into multiple zones. The reason we did that is to, for them to have separate audio control out of each of the zones. I'm gonna show you how the rack turned out and show you how everything looked in here. But each of the separate seating areas has its own volume control. We do have a commercial grade mixer to allow them to listen to music, to allow them to play whatever's on this television. And they also have a mic built into the system, a wireless mic for them to use it, whether it's to call uh, uh, orders out or maybe a karaoke night, who knows? Let me take you to the rack and the brains of how this bad boy came about. All right guys, here we go. It's the brains of the operation. I'm gonna give you a quick um, electronic rundown and then I'll explain you what everything does. Networking is phased out up here. Obviously that controls the Wi-Fi, IP control, everything that's going on in here. This is our control four section. This is a system that is powered by control four via IR and IP. So this is what's controlling the televisions um, and then the audio video side of it. 
we do have power management and this is the commercial side of this project we wanted to make sure that they had individual volume control for all of the zones the bathroom the kitchen um, that way in case they wanted everything louder in here than in the bathroom they got separate zo um, zone control and we also have a commercial mixer in here to give them separate source control you have multiple inputs we do we are running everything off the network but this is a restaurant that's far 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 from the city so one of the things that we did here is outside of leaving everything on the network we left an emergency aux cable for a last minute connection in case we ever needed to bring something in here and play something while the uh, network was down. This does have the option to be serviced uh, and troubleshoot remotely. This is one of those projects um, that we can handle from anywhere in the world. Boom. This is how the system is ran. I'm going to show you a quick tour of the video displays. We do have a multi display driver here that allows them to control each television separately or combine them all. Simple use, you select the TV that you want to control. So we switch over to the remote and as I turn y'all this way, you'll notice that this becomes the direct TV remote. And as I change the channel, the channel on the TV behind me is gonna change. The menu, the guide, recall, it all works just like a standard direct TV remote. We do have audio options and this is where all of the streaming and inputs are gonna be designed. We do have status of the restaurant to show them everything that's going on, inputs, outputs, volume controls, all here. So this is the control for user interface. Not a lot going on here because this is dedicated for audio video, but keep in mind that as we continue to program this system, one of the things that we got today was opening and closing times. So just like all of our other restaurants, this system is going to turn on at the selected time and opening time and turn off when it's ready to shut down to eliminate um, staff having to do all that. All right, so these are all 70 volt episode in ceiling speakers. You have to make sure that your network is reliable and it can handle everything. So here we use commercial grade Arachnus access points and we created a guest network to make sure that their guests have access to the Wi-Fi, but they do not have access to the actual admin things in the POS system. All right, so I've taken you to the entire process of this project, from the design, to the rack build out, to the installation, to the planning, to the traveling, and now we're here testing the system out. First of all, I wanna thank you for being here. Second, I wanna invite you to come look, listen, and live with us. Now more than ever, we're making our services as easy as possible. There's a link below where you can schedule your virtual consultation. You can also call the office and speak with one of our specialists to answer any of your questions. We're here to help and we would love to be part of your next project. With that being said, have yourself an awesome day.